Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I wanted to show off some Titanfall gameplay and focus on what it's like to be a pilot. In this gameplay, I will be a Titan for some time, but I believe that my best gameplay was as a pilot, killing other pilots and killing other Titans. I just jumped into the map and I thought I could climb up this, but the uh, tree branches obscured my view of the overhang. As a pilot, it is in your best interest to play very, very aggressively. Wall running is very easy. You get really good jumps. You can run on the walls for quite a long distance, and you can double jump. Uh, your single jump is powerful enough, but a double jump will get you to all sorts of places as soon as you touch a wall or something that you can bounce off of that automatically resets your double jump also you have a climbing mechanic I'm gonna say it's kind of like Assassin's Creed or like Gears of War but in first person if you run up to a ledge you'll automatically climb up it that was my first submachine gun kill ever and I got destroyed by a guy that had an assault rifle and a scope for it the, the, in the version that I played the assault rifles had scopes by default the submachine guns had basically no attachments though I know that there should be a lot more attachments in the final version Version. I got quite a few grenades too, though I don't use them very often except to kill grunts, but I do believe I'm going to pick up a pilot double kill right here because I was able to get close to them, which of course is what the SMG is good for. It does have that very useful ammunition counter on it, so instead of looking to the side to see how many bullets left or guesstimating, the ammo count is right there in my face as I'm shooting so I know how to conserve my ammo, and I'm kind of sticking to the inside of the buildings, which is not normally what I like to do as a pilot. I prefer to be on top of the buildings, but when I'm on top of the buildings, I'm exposed to Titan fire. I'm exposed to assault rifle gameplay. I don't even know I could go between these there. That was just a really good lucky thing. But I'm going to jump off of this and then climb up to the next level and get on top a little bit. But assault rifles definitely have me beaten up here. As you will see, it is somewhat difficult to get long range kills with some machine guns in this game. I don't know if it's because they deal low damage at long ranges or if they have too high a recoil. Well, they do have higher recoil than assault rifles, but nothing's too low recoil. When you call a Titan in, you get a little shield around it. But I'm going to jump on this one just as the shield is going down and hijack him immediately right off the bat like that and what you want to do when you hijack somebody is start shooting their inner core and there you can see how little damage the submachine gun will deal as opposed to something like an assault rifle or a pistol to where I could have already killed him and I do believe I'm going to manage to doom the Titan before somebody shoots me off of the back the other guy in his thing in his Titan he would have gotten a warning that I was shooting him so he should have jumped off and put the Titan in automatic mode and knocked me off his back thankfully my Titan is ready my Titans actually the sniper Titan it is my favorite they call it the tank and the default loadouts it has a I think believe it has a nuclear core and a fast reject and some stuff like that but the number one thing is this 40 millimeter cannon and as I may have mentioned in some other videos, if you get hit by a, a Titan that somebody else calls in from space, you will die immediately. I just caught a whole lot of rockets right there and sent them right back at the guy. And I just got smoked. And I was like, what? What, what killed me? Where did the... Oh, really? He fell from space? And not only did he fall from space, but he got a double kill on us from space. I, you know, that's one of those... I wasn't even mad. I was like, okay, that's just cool. I'm going to have to show that off in my video because I never thought that would be possible. So I'm back on the ground as a pilot fighting the titans and I tried to climb up this was a game where I was experimenting with the movement as well I found that you can't climb straight up the walls it just doesn't work you have to bounce back and forth there's not a lot of straight wall climbing and I found that the sidewinder here is my favorite anti-titan weapon there is a heavier rocket launcher this one's already dead so I'm just gonna shoot a little bit and jump out that you have to lock onto it deals more damage but the sidewinder allows more mobility more hip spring and I can kind of use it anti-personnel it's not the best anti-personnel weapon I did find in this map I thought thought it was mostly big and outdoor but there were some indoor areas where you can kind of go underneath most of the fighting which was very very useful and again the sidewinder has good range the rockets may be dumb fire but they don't arc or curve too much the only thing you have to do is lead your targets at long range so they don't step ahead of you my best advice as a pilot is a slow pilot as a dead pilot if you stand still on an edge or even for a minute for a second you're gonna get smashed either by the AI or by people it is always in your best interest to be moving very very fast do the most complicated wall jumps that you can possibly do and that is how you survive as a pilot also pro tip never get close to Titan's feet it's very good to jump on them and hijack them but if a Titan walks over you you die instantly it does a stamping animation just kind of like in some old-school games where you're big and people are little you just walk over enemies, uh, be they AI or humans, and you stamp them to death when you're in a Titan. So on the other way around, when you're on the ground, you don't go between the legs. That never happens. It just smushes you automatically. This particular, t or you can punch them. Punching them also works very, very well. This particular Titan is really awesome for Titan combat, but pretty terrible for anything else. I just caught all of his stuff and sent it right back out. I'm going for the melee here. 
Yep, yeah, he already ejected. Now the guy is on the ground trying to shoot at me. You can see it on the radar. The radar also indicates what it's like to be a pilot. Some of the more successful players I found would actually not use their Titans, but they put their Titans in AI follow mode and stay as a pilot. And while as a pilot, they would hijack or use their anti-Titan weapons on the other Titans while they engage their AI Titans. It was sort of a... Uh, a gamble thing because your AI is not as good as a person they just never ever played as good as people but you could double your potential firepower wasted my shield there a little bit I have to wait for it to come back but I need to dash around the corner getting a lot of assists in this gameplay as the sniper titan not a lot of kills my best sniper titan gameplay was in a different I shouldn't even call this more like a DMR titan look at him he's trying to punch me with a shield I think I just punched his shield I get a little spam happy with melee in this game sometimes which is not always to my benefit and now I'm gonna die for sure so screw it I'm gonna take this guy with me I'm gonna make sure that I blow up and take him down uh, I actually had a guy on my back riding me which was kind of frustrating but that happens sometimes I should have paid attention to the warnings but it's so hectic and chaotic sometimes you miss these things Whew, getting near to the end of the gameplay here. One of the cool things in Titanfall in general is that when the game is over, it's not 100% over. I do get to kill another Titan at the end via hijack, but you get the option like an epilogue to escape. You get bonus points if you make it to the extraction point and you escape, and the enemy team gets bonus points for preventing your escape. So while the objective may have been lost, while my team didn't do it, while I personally didn't play good enough or my team didn't play good enough, we lost this game and we have to prepare to evacuate so you have a zone that's indicated i think it's random every time you can just go to different places on the map uh, team deathmatch is random now the other one hard point is not it's basically domination from call of duty you have to secure the area from enemies for like 20 to 30 ish seconds depending on the map once it's secured a drop ship will show up and if you get to the drop ship you're made invincible and you're there However, these enemies were a little bit smarter than knew where we were going, knew what we were doing, and I got I, destroyed over here trying to hold the zone. I don't even know what I was shooting. I don't know what I thought that I was going to be able to hit over there. I was just trying to be helpful. I'm like, yeah, maybe they're not going to see me behind this rock. I'll just sit here and nobody will notice me. But uh, we had some smarter folks. Whoever TF2 Newton was noticed me pretty quickly and killed me with no problems. And that's the end of the gameplay. Uh, nothing else. It's just waiting for people to get onto the dropship. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful about maneuvering as a pilot and the submachine gun in general. Drifter out.